Okay, this is what the carrier bearing that I just installed looks like now. Um, you can tell that the drive shaft has come completely disconnected. You can also see that here the carrier support has been bent all the pieces. Um, you can see the damage up here. That's just one side. Um, mm, big, big damage. Um, hole. Uh, you know, continuing on. Um, as far as damage to the drive shaft itself, um, where it hit the support beam, it's all dented up here and here. I mean, you can tell where it definitely did not like getting hit. Um, this is where it came apart. You can see that one of them is missing completely. Um, one of the U-joint pieces is still in there. Um, you can also see that it's now leaking a little bit around here. I'm guessing that would be the rear seal. And it does not move much at all, but it does make that clicking noise. I'm not really that concerned about the damage to the bottom of the truck, uh, but you know, concerned at the same time. It didn't really take out anything else, which I mean, we're really lucky. Uh, you can see that this is where it dented the floor pan and you can feel it inside um, Definitely gonna need a new carrier bearing It's gone and I'm thinking because of all of the pits here along the drive shaft that I'm gonna need one of those um, The uh, The balance parts are still here but I can see there's no tack welds that, you know, there's just one missing. This is where it obviously hit something. But uh, you can see where all the metal is sparkling here. Um, I'm guessing from whenever all this fell apart. But, uh, yep. You can see over here, <clears throat> this is the tailpipe that it hit whenever it was doing the damage. So pretty much the damage of the vehicle um, the only thing that other thing that it damaged on the tailpipe is uh, one of the tailpipe mounts that looks like this this one came completely out and uh, the other one is is broken most of the way through but I think that could at least get me back to Texas all right so uh, yeah Switching back here to the rear end again. There's where the tailpipe mount is about to fall out. The rear end. I don't think it should have that play in it. Um, I've watched what happens whenever a pinion bearing goes out. And it should have, I mean, the pinion bearing should have an upward and a downward movement and a side-to-side -side movement. This does not have that. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.